Hi, I'm John. I'm not a naturally lean guy. In fact, I was downright obese for many, many years. And when I found out that it wasn't my fault, well, that was one of the best days of my life. I'm going to tell you my story because it's probably very similar to your own. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a gal. Anyone who struggles with their weight and their waistline will relate to this story. And if you watch this entire video, which I promise you will not be online very long, I will do more than just tell you a story. I will give you the solution I discovered and used to this very day. Again, this video will not be up forever, so please watch it while you can. If you're anything like me, you've probably been beating your head against the wall for years, maybe even decades, all because you do not have that flat, firm stomach you long for. I remember the first time that I saw abs on someone. I was in the seventh grade. We were in the locker room after a football practice. Now, I knew my friend Joy had that body, you know, the one that girls loved and that the guys wanted to have, but I never knew he had that great abs. I mean, a firm, super tight midsection that just made me want to go home and do a thousand sit-ups. And guess what? I did. <laughs> I was really sore the next day. So sore I couldn't even practice. Now, you know the look of what I'm talking about. Hardly any fat around the waist. Great lines of tasteful muscle tone where most people carry those rolls of flab. And when Joey tucked in his shirt, nothing hung over his belt. Now, here's what struck me as very strange. Joey never did sit-ups. He never worked his abs at all in the gym, as a matter of fact. He was always working out, but I never once saw him do so much as even look at his abs. Now, many years later, as my stomach grew from a soft 33 inches to an obese 48 inches, I started remembering that first encounter with a fantastic set of abs. And you know what I did? I blamed it all on Joy's genetics. He was obviously born that way. That was the only answer. That's what I get telling myself. Sure, Joey had great genetics. No one else in the locker room had those abs, that's for sure. But come on, I was lying to myself. Now, I'm an honest guy, so admitting this was very, very difficult. And the fact that I was lying to myself didn't hit me all of a sudden. After all, I'd tried dieting. I'd done setups and crunches for years. The only thing I managed to do was pull my back muscles and trim my waistline by about an inch, maybe two at the most, but not an ab muscle in sight. My clothes were always uncomfortable on me, and I never wanted to take my shirt off at the beach or at the pool. In essence, I was like a prisoner in my own body. My mind wanted something, at least that I believed, my body could never give me. Maybe this sounds like someone that you know. Maybe it sounds just like you. Well, today I'm a different person. I sport a trim, firm stomach. And in fact, I saw my abs, all of them, for the first time at the age of 39. And you know what? They were better than Joey's abs. I was absolutely shocked. I mean, amazed. I was floored. Now, how did I do it? First, I embraced the one truth that hardly anyone knows or will tell you about getting lean abs. It's going to blow your mind. Here it is. The best ab exercise in the world is no ab exercise. Now, that may come as a total shock to you. There is a time and place for ab exercises done correctly, for sure. But I saw the start of my abs before I ever did a crunch or ever did a leg raise, before I ever even thought about working my abs. Here's why this is the truth. If you train your abs directly too much, you're just going to build the muscles underneath your layer of fat. Now that's great if you want a bigger stomach. Now that's not what most of us want. Not only that, but direct ab exercises can cause your body to go into a state of what we call overtraining. This wears you out and makes you not want to go to the gym, not want to work out. It can even ruin your enthusiasm for dieting. Now, maybe you realize why you've started working out only to stop a few days or a few weeks later. I don't know, maybe you lasted a few months. I did. There's a better way to get the job done. 
and it's amazingly fast. Let me tell you another quick 30 second story about how some extra attention from women once you have lean ripped abs really is a nice payoff. I was out in a bar a couple of years ago with six or seven of my old college buddies and most of them had let themselves get pretty out of shape in the recent years. And at one point, we started talking to a group of attractive young ladies and joking around with them. And out of nowhere, one of the hottest girls in the group comes up to me and says in a flirtatious voice, wow, you look like you're in pretty good shape. I want to see your abs. And then she literally yanked my shirt up and started running her hands over my abs. This made two or three of the other girls come over and check out the ab show too. And of course, this was a little embarrassing. And my college buddies were even more embarrassed because they didn't have the six pack. In fact, they were trying to hide their rolls and suck in their gut. It was pretty funny. Now, please don't get me wrong. Women obviously care a lot more than just about a man's body. But I can guarantee you from personal experience, you'll get a lot more attention from the ladies when you are sporting a lean trim waistline. In fact, in several recent surveys, women voted abs as the most appealing part of a man. They even voted abs sexier than biceps or pecs. Okay, we've already mentioned how direct ab exercises can be one of the biggest time wasters, actually one of the least effective ways of getting a flat stomach and a six pack abs. So hang with me for a minute as I'm gonna share with you four more powerful keys to getting the flat stomach you want. Now here they are. First, you need to realize that you are surrounded every day by products that claim to be quote unquote health foods. In reality, they're just packing more and more fat on your stomach. Perhaps you thought that whole wheat foods were good for you and maybe great for your fat loss. Or you've been fooled into thinking that soy milk, say, is one of the healthiest things you can drink. Think again. These foods could actually be increasing your belly fat. I'll show you in just a minute where you can access the real foods that help you burn body fat. Now, second, please don't fall for any of these worthless ab belts or abdominal blaster 7000 ab machines that you see in the infomercials. I tried some of these things. They're worthless. They do not burn stomach fat at all. And we've already talked about how ab exercises are not the most effective way of getting abs. So these infomercials and ab machines are just completely worthless. Ignore them. And do not be deceived by those good looking fitness models that you see with the perfect bodies on these infomercials. You know, I've been in this business now for over a decade and I can tell you flat out that perfectly sculpted fitness models do not get their great bodies with that piece of crap infomercial machine they're hawking. They got their perfect bodies through living a true fitness lifestyle with real workouts, real nutrition, and the right mindset. Three. Despite what you may hear from most trainers in the fitness magazines, you do not need hours and hours of boring cardio four to five days a week to get as lean as you want. Instead, I'm going to give you the chance to access some very unique workouts in just a couple of minutes from now that are much more effective than long, boring cardio workouts and will save you from all that monotonous cardio. I don't know about you, but that's not what I consider fun. A treadmill or a bike going to nowhere. Not a good time. Fourth, and this is a very important fact that you absolutely need to understand if you want to save hundreds, even thousands of dollars is that you do not need most of these bogus fat burning diet pills that almost every shady website on the internet is trying to scam you with. Now, while there are supplements that are fantastic to help your metabolism along, most of these are a complete waste of your money. In every fitness magazine, you'll see page after page of nothing but these so-called fat burners, and they do nothing but stimulate your adrenal glands and wear you out. They will not help you burn body fat. In fact, they could kill you. Stay as far away as you can from these stimulant-based fat loss bullcrap products. Okay, so now that we've covered four things that you need to learn, what is the absolute best way to lose your stubborn stomach fat and get those lean, flat abs you want? Well, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine and professional ab expert, Mike Geary. He's a world-renowned professional trainer. He's also a certified nutrition specialist. His principles are tried tested, and proven, not by dozens, but by hundreds and thousands of people, just like you and me. Mike's best-selling program, The Truth About Six-Pack Abs, is exactly that. The Truth About Getting Six-Pack Abs. 
In fact, to date, over 263,000 people in 154 countries have used Truth About Abs program already. Now, I used it. I can vouch for it. Trust me, Mike's the real deal, and he's really helped me get the abs that I now sport today. By the way, just check out the map below. This is an actual map plotted from zip code data of thousands of Truth About Ab readers in the United States alone. It is literally the only program you will ever need to achieve the lean, toned, flat stomach that you long to see in the bathroom mirror every morning and the secret to keeping that look for the rest of your life. Not for days, not for weeks, but for decades. He goes beyond just the workouts and food recommendations and shows you how to train your mind into adopting a true fitness lifestyle too. So after you learn this stuff, you will not have to struggle anymore with unhealthy eating patterns or motivation to work out. I'll take you inside Mike's program in just a minute in some detail, but first I wanted to share with you what some other people have experienced. John Hallett, for example, he's the president of Healthy Sunshine Incorporated, said, Mike, I used the Truth About Ab system for about five months or so this year and had great results. I'm down now between seven to eight percent body fat and have lost a total of three to four inches in my waist, lost a total of 24 pounds, and got my six-pack abs. Leith Carney from Australia totally transformed his body, saying, I'd been talking about this program for months, saying I'll get it on the next paycheck, the next paycheck, the next paycheck. Well, Leith finally took action, and now listen to what he says. This program is freaking brilliant. Before I started your program, I was running regularly and working out sometimes, but I was still getting fatter and fatter. I didn't really notice it until a friend of mine took a photo of me at the beach. I was horrified. I knew I had to do something about it, but I couldn't move the fat. Everything changed when I started your Truth About Abs program. In the six months I've been on the program, I've lost 25.4 kilograms and have gone from 30% body fat to 11% body fat. And Mike Castaneda got his 32-inch waistline back at the age of 38. He says, I just couldn't lose that last 10 pounds of body fat I wanted to lose. I started taking your advice recently and eventually lost those extra 10 pounds of fat I wanted to lose. I did it your way, Mike, which is the smart way. Now here's just a few of the unique things that I learned from Mike's program. On page 42, Mike goes into some specific food types that help to fight belly fat. Now this goes beyond your typical eat your fruits and vegetables. Everyone knows that. These are some actual real fat fighting foods and some of them will shock you. On page 5, I discovered a six step process that is more important than any of the workout or diet details. Believe this or not. It will guarantee you that you are motivated and actually follow through to take action on your new fitness lifestyle. Page 7 showed me this crazy trick that I learned from Mike that actually transformed the way I think about junk food. Now, I'm going to tell you straight out, I used to crave unhealthy foods every single day. And I had a really difficult time even being a nutritionist choosing healthy foods because I was kind of addicted to unhealthy foods. But after I learned this trick, I now opt to choose these healthier foods more frequently in the week, and I still enjoy some junk foods here and there, but I balance it out, and I still get my abs. Now, this is what's really cool. On There's a whole section dedicated to this. It's five fat-triggering foods that most people think are healthy that are actually sabotaging your efforts to get a lean body. Yep, you're going to think they're healthy, and Mike shows you how they're not healthy. And once you cut them out of your diet, it's amazing how fast that fat falls off. And believe it or not, you're getting these foods. Most people are almost every day. On page 93, Mike shows you how to think creatively and differently about your workouts. And this is one of the key things to keep you interested and motivated. You know, you gotta stay interested in exercise, otherwise you're just gonna stop doing it. And that's the number one problem people have. Mike's got some really great, simple solutions to this problem. And let me tell you, it's gonna be the difference between looking different this year and next year, or looking the same next year. It's up to you. If you wanna look the same way you do right now, go on doing the same things you're doing right now. It's common sense. But you got to change the way you think between your ears. And Mike goes into this in some really cool detail. 